Today we're playing the Forgotten Turn 1 Green Combo Deck Neo Brand, featuring Alistar's Rider, Gristle Brand, and everyone's favorite win condition, Laboratory Maniac. This deck list is sweet, you're going to want to see it. How does Legacy Neo Form work? It's actually quite simple. So the first thing you want to do is cast an Alistar's Rider for its alternative mana cost of exiling two green cards from your hand. From there, we have things like Elvish Spirit Guide and Lotus Petal to accelerate into a first turn copy of Neoform. We grab Gristlebrand since it has a mana value of 8. We draw 14 cards. Then we gain life using Nourishing Shoal. But in this list, we also have Weather the Storm. We're a storm deck. How sweet is that? So you draw more cards and more cards. Eventually, you use Lotus Petal to accelerate into Laboratory Maniac. That's it. Easy peasy, anyone can do it, and you're going to see plenty of it in this video, so stick around, and I'll see you in the first match. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. You can also show your support by becoming a member of this channel. You get sweet perks such as badges, emotes, exclusive members-only content, and access to our members' Discord section. As you increase the tiers, there are other rewards such as shop discounts, cyborg guides, early access to videos, and even free donation decks. Click the join button down below to find out more. We also have other ways you can support us such as theepicsroom.com shop or submitting a donation deck via the epicsperm.com slash donation decks. That's enough for now. Let's play some magic. Time for match number one. We're on the draw and we've opened up a hand with both Aosaurus Rider and Eldritch Evolution, meaning that this is a keep. We just need one more mana. We don't know if our opponent's playing a blue deck or not. If they are, we're going to need more. And well, it's Legacy. Surprise, surprise, our opponent's playing blue. They chose to shuffle off that ponder. Okay. We draw a land. So we have the third mana source, which means we can hold this land grant for a little bit. There's a saga. Okay. So this might be cephalid breakfast. Lotus petal. So I have a protected win next turn. Saga goes up to two. Blue to delta. Wow. So now we have Pact of Negation and Veil of Summer. All right. Well, it's land grant. You're dead, opponent. Tropical Island. Let's search out the other trop. Allosaurus Rider, exiling Rider and Worm. And now we're going to attempt to put Gristlebrand onto the battlefield with double backup. Okay. The demon is here. Draw seven. Play Lotus Petal. Let's draw seven more. We have six hits between four Nourishing Shoals and then two Weather the Storm. It looks like we just flat out missed. Weird. I, can, I guess I'm glad that we didn't Pact of Negation. Alright, we'll play a Shepherd. Really unfortunate that we just missed on six hits. We'll play out another Rider exiling two once upon a time. I feel like I'm dead. We had a turn three with double backup and we just missed. Ah, uh, that's so embarrassing. And they're totally on Cephalid Breakfast. Discard Land. Land. And Neoform. I guess my hope here is that we packed a negation the... Okay, they just conceded. I was going to say that we packed a negation their Cephalid Illusionist and then try to win, pay and then win. But they just didn't have it. Right, we'll bring in more Allosaurus Shepherds. I think that those are going to be quite good here. Let's shave one once upon a time. You, you could bring in Leyline of the Void. I think that's a mistake. All right, so... We have Aelsaur Shepherd, but this hand doesn't have anything else going on for it. Mulligan. I mean, this is a turn one, but we don't have any backup. Ay, ay, ay. Pact of Negation off the top, please. Tundra. That's a Nomads. Draw for turn. Play Lotus Paddle. So I could have a turn two with backup. But they might just kill me on their turn two. I think I'm just going to jam. They could also have Silence. They could have a number of Neoform. You don't have it. You don't have it. A hey, take that Cephalid Breakfast. All right. So I could Summoner's Pact here, but that gets an Elvish Spirit Guide. I'd still need to draw another. So we'll just pay seven again. I go to six. All right. So we will now Summoner's Pact. Go get another Spirit Guide. Summoner's Pact again. Raise that Storm Count. Grab another spirit guide. We're going to make some green mana. 
weather the storm to gain 21 life. And the opponent concedes! 1-0! Moxfield.com is the easiest way to build a Magic deck online. They support over 30 formats, including Legacy and many other Eternal formats. There are so many options to view decks the way that you want, from text view to individual cards, mana value, and even card price. There's also light mode and dark mode. My personal favorite feature is card tags. This way you can sort cards by function. Moxfield supports collection tracking, scryfall search, deckless feedback, and so much more. Follow me on moxfield.com so you can stay updated on all of my decks. Game number two, I, match number two, we're on the play. All right, so this is all mana and a rider. No idea what our opponent's playing. I mean, if we knew that they were on a non-blue deck, I would consider keeping this, but we'll try to do a little bit better on six. Okay, so we have a really odd hand. You can only cast one of these once upon a time for free. So I think that this hand is actually a trap. We'll go to five. Guess we're keeping this. Put Shoal and Weather the Storm on the bottom. Burn a Catacombs past the turn. Right, so they're a blue deck. And Ponder. I'm not even sure if I'm going to cast this once upon a time, because I just need green cards for my rider. And if I miss on this, we're set back to the Stone Age. Of a Spirit Guide, so now we just need to draw a Neoform. They play a Channeler, so they're just on classic, boring Grixis Delver. I'm going to hold on to this Tropical Island. No need to play it out into Wasteland. The opponent attacks for one. Knight's Whisper. Sure thing. They surveil away an underground sea. Come on, deck. Please, please, please give me the Neo... Yeah, Neo form. For some reason, I, I was about to say Neo brand. All right. So that's not it. We'll pass here. Another channeler. They attack for one. Five cards. Another once upon a time. I guess we'll cast this one. We find a Misty, but we bought him a Neoform. Pass the turn. They attack for two. We go to 16. They have six cards in hand. Play Lotus Petal. Pass. Orcish Bowmaster. We can actually beat that due to Veil of Summer. We can also just respond to all the Bowmaster triggers and win the game. Until we can resolve a Veil. But... The problem is we just haven't drawn a payoff this game. They snuff out their own creature. Sure. And then they're going to daze it, trying to build up Delirium. They missed on Delirium, and now they're attacking for 4 down to 11. So I have to draw the Neoform right now, or else we're probably just out of this. Our opponent plays a Merc Tide Regent. All right, deck, it's now or never. you got to be good to me. We'll fetch. Draw for turn. Nope. Concede. Okay, so I think we want to bring in Alistair Shepherd here. And we'll board out two once upon a time like we did in the previous match. On the play. We have Land Grant. We have Summoner's Packs. I mean, this hand's just missing the, the Neoform. I'm going to keep this. Lead on the Land Grant. If our opponent wants to force of will this Land Grant, they can have at it. And they're going to. Wow. Yeah, sure. That is a fine exchange for us. They play a Misty Rainforest and pass. Shepherd. So once again, we're still just the Neoform away. Maybe I was supposed to play Lotus Petal on the first turn, though, because now if I play it, there's a chance I could be dazed. And that's just dumb. I didn't need to do that. We'll play the Petal. Does not get dazed. Pass. Two mana for an Orcish Bowmasters. Okay, once again, we're just praying to the Storm Gods, or Combo Gods, Karanos, whoever's up there. Give me Neoform. Another Rider. I'm not sure what the right plan is here. Am I supposed to just play out Rider? I don't think so. Discard the Weather of the Storm. They have a Wasteland. They attack for two. We're at 15. Another Weather, so that's not great. Go to Discard. They bolt me down to 12. They attack for two, we go to ten. Another Lotus Petal will play that. They ponder. I mean, we have not only four Neoform, we also have four Eldritch Evolution. And we just haven't drawn them. In my previous time playing this deck, a while ago, I ran Brainstorm, and the Brainstorms were terrible. Um, I just wish that they weren't in the deck at all. So I ended up not playing them in this league, but we're seeing here... 
sometimes it's hard to draw the right piece. We're just going to go to discard again. The opponent attacks. So now we can't even activate Grossel Brand. We're just so far behind. Attempt to gain seven. I'm just going to concede. We can't win this. All right, that was a brutal match. We just got absolutely destroyed. We are now one and one. Looking to make playing your favorite combo deck much easier? Look no further than the Epic Storm Mini Token Combo Pack, which is available at theepicstorm.com shop for $14.99. This combo token pack comes with 84 double-sided tokens. That includes our classic Storm and mana tokens as well as fan favorites such as Goblins, Squirrels, and Slime Time Live. But that's not all. We've expanded this token pack to cover a variety of formats with new tokens. Stop on by the Epic epicstorm.com slash shop and make an easy decision to elevate your combo game. Let's try to bounce back after that tough match. We're on the play in the third round. All right, Neil Form, Rider. We're one mana short. We'll keep this. We have to hope that the once upon a time hits a land. Just once upon a time. And it does. So my one concern with our hand at the moment is I'm going to have to remove one of these nourishing shoals, but I think that's just the name of the game. We'll grab Alsor's Rider, and now we'll go grab Elvish Spirit Guide, exile Veil of Summer and Nourishing Shoal, tap for a blue, exile the Spirit Guide, and Neoform. Bristle Brand, let's draw some cards. Okay, we go to six. Use the Summoner's Pact to go search out one of our expensive worms. And then we're going to exile that worm to the Nourishing Shore. And now we can draw some more cards. We're at seven. Let's search our deck for the second copy of Worm. And then exile that worm so we can gain 15. Draw 14. Lotus Petals. Pitch a Spirit Guide. Play a Lotus Petal. There's our laboratory friend hiding out in the corner. We'll play the Maniac and then go to one life and activate Gristlebrand. That's how we do. All right, let's try to do that again. I have no clue what our opponent's playing. I'm just going to resubmit. We're in game number two. Our hand doesn't really do anything meaningful. We don't have a Neoform. We don't have access to Rider. We just have to send this hand back. All right, well, now we have Rider. We also have an Evolution. I believe that this hand is a key. We're one mana short of victory. I suppose it's actually better to put the second rider on the bottom, because if we get hit by a thought Caesar hand has redundancy between Summoner's Pact and Rider and the Evolution. Turns out they're on a blue deck. Once upon a time, I'm going to sit on that. They play wooded foothills in a tropical island. Oh, they're on rhinos. Okay. So the deck that plays eight main deck forces didn't have one in game. And they have a betrayal in game number two. We have to concede. Like, I could... Okay, hold on. I guess in theory I could... Once upon a time into Elvish Spirit Guide. Okay. Here we go. We did it. Elvish Spirit Guide. Pitch the Spirit Guide, Veil of Summer. Okay. So, that happens. Their stuff fizzles. We see that they have at least two Force of Wills on the bottom of their deck. Is it time to just jam? I think so. Like, maybe I'm wrong, but we, we see that they also have Hold Breacher. So I'm going to just attempt to win the game. Spirit Guide. Play Rider, exiling the Eldritch Evolution and Weather the Storm. Exile, exile. Sacrifice the Petal. Evolution. Oh my god, it resolved. Boom! Gristle. <laughs> Lucky. Play the Lotus Petal. Let's gain 15 life. Draw 7. Summoner's Pact. Go grab a Spirit Guide. Play our land. Let's cast the land grant. Pull another land out of our deck. Fetch. Now we'll draw. Play another Summoner's Pact. Grab a Shepherd. I, I guess I probably should have gotten the other worm. That was my bad. I'm just like trying to go quickly, and that's not what I should be doing. Draw seven. That's just foolish. Play another Lotus Petal. We'll exile a Rider and gain seven. Now I can draw seven more. Brings us to nine cards in deck. 
And we have found the Maniac. Play the Lab Maniac. We'll gain 7. Draw 7. Now we'll gain 15. Alright, I can't believe this, but we just 2 owed Charless Rhinos. The deck with 8 main deck forces. Had it the whole time. 2 and 1. If you're still watching, make sure to give this video a like, comment, and subscribe. While you're near the description, here's a reminder to use our affiliate links if you're going to make a purchase from Amazon, Card Hoarder, or TCG Player. Just above those affiliate links, you'll find our social channels. Make sure to join those to connect with us. Round four on the play. All right, our opponents begin the match by revealing a Yorian Sky Nomad. Here we have Once Upon a Time in Land Grant. So we have access to rider in a land but i think we can do better like this hand's just a little awkward all right so this hand just needs to find the rider i'm down to keep this we can get rid of a spirit guide i guess in hindsight i probably should have kept the spirit guide i don't know why i just thought of this but when i was mulliganing i was like i should keep the evolution in case they thought sees but our opponent playing a yorian probably isn't playing thought sees i mean they could but it's just unlikely. So I probably should have kept the extra man. Basic planes, Aether Vial. Yep, they're on Death Attack. Come on, Rider. Weather the storm. We'll pass. Rashad in port. Valia, Guardian of Thraben. That's a pain. We draw Veil of Summer. I mean, it's possible to beat Thalia. It really is. It's just, we're probably not beating Caracas Thalia with Rashad in port. Maybe it should have gone to five against the Yorian. I don't know. We'll tap our tropical. All right, I've seen enough. We can go to the next. We don't need Alice or a Shepherd. That can get out of our deck. So can Veil of Summer. We'll bring in Force of Vigor. Foundation Breaker. And then I think just like keeping a random green card is better than boarding in Leyline of the Void or Leyline of Sanctity. So, I've seen some lists recently with Thoughtseize in the sideboard, so let's try the Veil of Sun. Resubmit. Game number two, we're on the play. We're going to try to keep a hand that's a little bit better in the match. We have Neoform and a Once Upon a Time. Yeah, I mean, we just have to find the rider off of Once Upon a Time. Play the Burning Catacombs, pass the turn. Mother of Runes? Sure. Before I draw, I'm going to fetch just a thin here to increase my odds of finding what we want which is the Allosaurus. That'll do, Pig. That'll do. All right. So let's go. Pass the Summoner's Pact. Go grab Allosaurus Rider. We'll exile the Once Upon a Time of the Evolution. Blue, green, Neoform. Grab Gristlebrand. Draw seven. Play out the Lotus Petal. We can exile the Worm. Gain 15. Play another Summoner's Pact. Let's go search out the other Worm. Gain another 15. So we've gained 30. Draw. Summoner's Pact again. This time we'll grab a Rider. Exile the Rider. Gain 7 more. And at this point we're just really looking for the Laboratory Maniac. Okay, so I've drawn down to 4 cards in our deck. We will now exile some copies of Simeon Spirit Guide. I'm Simeon Spirit Guide. Elvish Spirit Guide. We're the green deck. I'm so used to playing Simeon Spirit Guide that I just mentally blanked. Okay. Make a blue. Cast the Laboratory Maniac. And now we will win the game. Off to game number three. This is our first game three of the league. <laughs> it only took until match number four. All right. So you might be saying, why leave Impact Negation versus, versus Death and Taxes? And I think that's a fair question. And the answer is a couple different things. So Mindbreak Trap, Orcish Bowmasters, uh, Solitude, Sorts to Plowshares. There's actually a bunch of reasons to fit in. Game three, we're on the draw. And well, we've opened up an unkeepable hand. It's just way too slow for the matchup. Okay, well, this hand would need to spike a Neoform or an Evolution on the first turn. So you'd have eight hits. I don't know how often you turn one on a mulligan to five. They kept their six. So with a five, two mana, so like land lotus petal, rider, two green cards, and neoform. So like you'd have to draw one of the things you need. I think I'm just going to keep this. We'll bottom weather the storm. Basic planes, mother of ruins. Come on, deck, pretty please. Elvish spirit guide. That is not what we asked for. 
play out a couple copies of Lotus Petal, and then we'll just pass the turn. It is possible for us to beat a Thalia, it's just very difficult. Rashad and Port, did you keep a Mind Break Trap hand? I think they did. Drew a Land Grant. Let's play the Land Grant. Okay, play the Tropical, pass the turn. Their hand screams Mind Break Trap to me. They tap our Tropical. Ouch, we fall to 18 life. They play an Aether Vial. Okay, I'm going to thin out another Tropical here just to slightly increase our ability to draw what we need. What we needed was not Crystal Brand. That was by far the worst draw in the deck. Um, we don't actually have a way of winning. I guess I could draw the other two Lotus Petals. Or we go Rider Beatdown. I guess we're on Alesaurus Rider Beatdown. <sighs> what a demoralizing way to lose. They have Solitude. I'm just going to call it. Like, we drew our Gristle Brand. I mean, we had eight draws that win the game on the spot, and instead we drew the one up. So, bummer. We are now two and two. Let's try to get match number five. The Command Tower software by Eminence Gaming is perfect for hosting your own magic events with features such as easy to create event registration for four player and one on one Swiss based games. Event management has never been so simple and it's done on the web, no downloads are required. You can sign up for $5 by visiting eminence.events slash subscribe. The fifth and final round, we're on the draw against Utley who is a painter expert. Here we have a hand where we have the Neoform, we have backup, but we don't have the Rider. So we have four evolution, I'm sorry, four summoners pack plus four once upon a time to find it. So we actually have 12 hits. This hand's very risky. I'm going to keep it. having packed the negation back, back up against painter is actually pretty helpful. Oh, it looks like they're actually on dredge today. Okay. Icarid and Golgari Grave Troll. Grief. We will avail of summer that. We drew another evolution. Not what we wanted they have three cards in hand wooded foothills lotus petal pass the turn icarid returns from the grave they dredge a golgari grave troll into cephalid coliseum wow they hit narc amoeba a lot of narc amoebas and a cabal therapy okay we have to hope that they don't know what we're playing <laughs> I mean, if they knew that we were on Neo Brand, I mean, tip of the cap. Therapy resolves. The name Burning Wish. Yeah, I mean, I've been known to play that card once or twice in my life. On their end step, we'll fetch with the Wooded Foothills. Grab a Tropical. This is it. If we don't draw this turn, we likely just lose the game. We bricked. Pass the turn. I mean, we're just dead here. Four Icarid triggers. <laughs> Oh, uh, wow. That's lethal. Another Narc Amoeba. And uh, that's us getting smoked. So we need to win both post board games to finish with a positive record. The bright side is we have eight Ley Lines in our board. So let's bring in Ley Line of Sanctity. Ley Line of the Void. We can board out Pact Negation. We don't need that here. We also don't need the Allosaurus Shepherd. And then we'll leave in two copies of Veil of Sun. Submit. On the play for game two. This is a turn one. Keep. Scalding Tarn. We will fetch. Tropical. Play the Rider. Exile. These two. Tap for a blue. Pitch the Spirit Guide. Neoform. Sacrifice the Rider. Grab Gristlebrand. Draw seven. Exile Worm. Play a Lotus Petal. Let's search out the other worm. Gain 15 more. And now we can just draw a ton of cards. We'll cast a Summoner's Pact in case there's a creature left there is. So the next time we activate Gristlebrand, we can draw the rest of our deck. We'll play a Shoal exiling the Rider. Play a few more copies of Lotus Petal. Pitch Elvish Spirit Guide. I believe the Laboratory Maniac is in front of the hand. It is. We'll play the Maniac, draw the last seven, and then we need to activate Gristlebrand one more time. So we'll play a Shoal exiling some other card. I'm lazy. I'm just going to click the Evolution. Activate. 
that is game number two. Now we need to win game three on the draw, but our opponent didn't see any of our eight ley lines, which is a huge benefit for us. Game three, we've opened up a hand with Neoform. We have double Summoner's Pack, so we could go get Rider, but I don't think that this hand is actually good enough. No blue mana, and I don't know. Uh, this hand is insane. We're going to keep this. Bottom, once upon a time? Cancel. Actually, we should get rid of the Laboratory Maniac. What am I talking about? Playline one, playline two. And our opponent concedes! All right, so we finished with a positive record. I love that. All right, so we got our money back. Neobrand is a super fun deck. I don't know if this list is perfect. Obviously, losing because we drew the one Gristle Brand was pretty miserable. So you could play two Gristle Brands. That's an option. I've also tried Brainstorm in the past. In fact, the last time I played this deck, I played Brainstorm, but it was ultra stinky. I hated it. So I think sometimes you just have to accept if you draw your one Gristle Brand. But deck is super fun very very fast and i would recommend it if you're just looking for a fun deck to play through a league so thank you for watching hopefully you enjoyed this short video as always keep storming you know what to do like comment and subscribe and if you enjoyed the deck list in today's video go to the comment section check out that pinned comment where you will find two links one for tcg player so you can buy the deck and the other is so that you can rent the deck from card hoarder card hoarder is the best rental service for magic online they truly make playing online extremely affordable go check out card hoarder today